Hello Aries viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, I am doing private readings, so if you want a private reading, my email is below, dragonenchantress at awol.com. Ace of Cups. Okay, we got some kind of love offer. Ten of Swords. Nine of Cups. Let's see. King of Cups. Ten of Cups. Six of Swords. Five of Swords. I appreciate any engagement too. Um, even just leaving a heart comment below, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. So I really, I, I love hearing from you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. We got the Five of Swords. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Temperance. What is the... Let's see, Ace of Wands. What is the Ten of Swords trying to say here? Six of Cups, Death, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that I think you're going to get some kind of apology from somebody or you're going to get some kind of offer from somebody. Six of Cups, it's, this card is connected to children. It can be about reconciliation, someone from the past coming back around, nostalgia. I feel like what it's in this context, though, what I feel like it's saying is I feel like this person was kind of childish in the past or they were, I don't know if childish is the right word. They're going through a transformation is basically what they're saying. They're, it's, it's like first they were coming to you as a page, which a page is, even if it's not necessarily childish, it's like a younger version. Um, it's not it's not quite a knight. It's not quite a king of pentacles. You know, they were coming to you of a pa as a page of pentacles. So not really giving you much commitment, not giving you, it wasn't stable. It's like they were giving you some kind of offer with the page of pentacles in the past, but it, it wasn't really a solid offer. Does that make sense? It wasn't It wasn't a solid love offer. It might have been hot and cold energy just kind of coming in whenever it suited them, when they felt bored or lonely, but not really offering you any real stability. And I think this person is trying to say, you know, with death here because death is about, you know, transformation and rebirth, it looks like they went through a transformation and they're saying they're no longer the page of pentacles. They are now the king of pentacles. This person is ready to step into that masculine energy, that, that role. They're ready to, you know, they, they want to offer more commitment, more stability, more loyalty. There is something from the past, um, seven of swords and ace of swords. Seven, seven of swords is about, sneakiness could be dishonesty cheating maybe being a player just some kind of some kind of sneaky energy I feel like you got truth or clarity about something that happened from the past that you might have been upset about you might have found out something this person did that you didn't know about before that upset you I also feel like it's this person saying that they are aware of their actions in the past they're taking responsibility for their role in the past because they before they might have just felt like you were dramatic or you were jealous or they didn't really see your side of things. You know what I mean? They didn't really fully take accountability in the in the past. They didn't really understand. It, it's like they kind of just almost felt like you just woke up one day and just started being dramatic or started being jealous. Like they didn't fully. I feel like they were kind of in the dark. Like they were kind of in this fog. I feel like. I also feel like because of some of the experiences that they've gone through, they might not have had a very clear perception. You know what I mean? It might be somebody that kind of like looks for red flags. So if somebody's, you know, upset or somebody's being jealous, they're really quick to like not see that person's, uh, see the pain behind that and also see that the person, that person's side of the story. They're very quick to be like, oh no, I've seen this with my exes. I'm going to run. Like, I don't trust this energy. But I feel like now it's like they've had some kind of clarity. They might have even gotten tarot readings on you and gotten some sort of clarity from another psychic as well. But it, it just feels like some kind of truth has come out for both of you. So for you, it's it's realizing, you know, certain things that this person did in the past 
that may make it more difficult to trust them. But it does look like they are going through a transformation, so they will be more trustworthy now. But, um, but yeah, it's also truth and clarity on their part. Like I was saying before, it's like they didn't really, they, they were kind of, you know, viewing things from that, from that, that lens of their, you know, past relationships and things that they've been through. And it's like, now they have some kind of clarity where they're like, they're trying to find that balance. You know what I mean? Where both of you guys are taking accountability for yourselves. You're both taking accountability for mistakes that you've made and you're both kind of coming together and, and finding that middle ground. So it's a really good energy, but, but yeah, I think they're seeing you in a different light. They're like, okay, wait a minute. Like, this, this, uh, whatever it was they did with the seven of swords. Again, that's, that's usually about cheating, lying, some kind of, some kind of sneaky behavior. Um, I think they're, they're kind of acknowledging their behavior and realizing that that might have made you cold or upset, or it might've, you know, things just built up with you. You didn't, you didn't just start being jealous overnight. There was, there was a buildup. Um, so it's really good that they're taking accountability for that and, and they're, you know, they're seeing that you are a balanced person. You are a logical person that was maybe just upset about, you know, one particular thing or multiple, multiple things even. So they are wanting to fix this, which is a really good energy. So we've got, I feel like there was an ending here. Like I think in the past, it's like you thought there was going to be some love offer and instead it was just like 10 of swords, like rock bottom, you know, just complete heartbreak. Uh, disappointment, possibly betrayal. Nine of Cups is, I think you guys both know, it's like, this is like a mutual energy where you both know that this is your wish fulfillment. Like you both, I mean, the, the love here that I feel is very deep. It's very mutual as well. King of Cups. I think this person is also realizing, oh, so, so here, here's what I'm also feeling. I feel like they've gone through a transformation where it's like first they were a page of pentacles and then they are they've transitioned into becoming a king of pentacles. That's something that they're still working on. So king of pentacles is like loyal, stable, grounded. And it really makes sense too that the king of pentacles is about loyalty when we have this these two other cards here where we were just talking about, you know, how maybe in the past they might have been a player, there might have been disloyalty, there might have been things that they tried to hide from you, like other people they tried to hide from you, and you might have intuitively just found out about it, even if you didn't express it to them. Um, but it seems like now, yeah, it's like they, they've been working on being the king of pentacles for you. So they have been working on being loyal. I feel like this person is, if there were any third parties, it does seem like they're letting those third parties go. They're, they're, they're really figuring out who they want to be. They're really working on themselves. They could be working on finances too, but you know, this person is just working on general stability and just you know, being themselves and, and being good for themselves and for you and just for everyone else in their life. But I feel like what it's saying here with the King of Cups after that, it's like this person first goes through this transformation of being the King of Pentacles, you know, maybe just focusing on themselves, bettering themselves. And then after that is when they start, you know, being a little bit more emotionally open. Uh, the King of Cups is, he's emotional, but he's he's grounded, he's mature, he's similar to the King of Pentacles in, in a lot of ways. Um, so I, I feel like there's, yeah, it's like, there's this kind of awareness of th this person that's becoming this King of Cups. It kind of has this awareness of their role in things. They're finally taking accountability. They're finally, you know, they're seeing things from a different perspective. They're starting to see things from your perspective more. And with the 10 of cups, it's like, that's like true love. That's, you know, happily ever after. That's everything. That's what they're wanting with you. That's what you're wanting with them. And I think they are realizing too, that to get their wish fulfillment, they have to be the king of cups. They have to, you know, you're, you're not going to do a one-sided connection. You're, you're not going to deal with feeling neglected, feeling alone, feeling unwanted, feeling like you're just, you know, not, not sexy, not attractive, like you know, you're not going to deal with like just feeling unwanted and, and feeling, you know, feeling like this person wants other people or whatever, it would, whatever it was in the past. And I think that they have this awareness of that. They have this awareness that if they want this 10 of cups, if they want this wish fulfillment with you, they're going to need to be in more of a king of cups energy, which is more um, expressive, more, you know, working on being emotionally available, emotionally open, emotionally mature, uh, 
compromising, you know, both of you guys compromising and, you know, finding that balance and the connection. And, um, you know, also pursuing, I think that they're recognizing that they're going to have to be the one that comes in with this offer. They're going to have to be the one if they want, you know, if they want to get to that 10 of cups with you, if they want this to, to go somewhere with you, they're going to have to be the one that, that, uh, comes forward in this kind of King of cups energy. And I feel like you'll match their energy too. I think they're kind of starting to recognize that as well. They're kind of seeing that pattern where they're like, okay, wait a minute. Like, like they, they realize that they're, they're looking at, they're looking, they're very introspective right now. They're looking at the past a lot. So they're recognizing those patterns so that they're, you know, they're recognizing that you'll match their energy. So if they come to you in this, this King of Cups energy, if they come to you in a, you know, a emotionally open, vulnerable, um, loyal energy, if they come to you, uh, you know, even just making small gestures and even just, you know, making an effort to see you, making an effort to be in your life, showing you that they want to be there, even just little things, you know, you're going to notice those little things and you're going to match their energy. If they're being emotionally open, you're going to be emotionally open in response. If they are being distant, you're going to be distant. You're, you're going to follow their lead. You're going to match their energy in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? So they are, yeah, they are recognizing that they need to come forward and even just make some kind of small gesture if they want to get things moving because they want to move things from rough waters to calmer waters because they don't want to be in, in conflict with you. They don't want disagreements. They want to get both of you on this boat and, you know, it's like this person's kind of taking the lead here. It's like they're, you see like a, like a woman and a child here, it looks like, and it's like he's sailing this boat to, um, you know, there's these six swords and it's like he's sailing, he, you know, you guys are, you guys are uh, leaving all the conflict behind. It's really interesting. It's like there's like rough waters here and then it's like kind of calm over here. And it's like you guys are going in that direction towards, um, towards that, that calm, that stability, basically. You know, like I said, he's realizing that there's, you know, that there's been conflict and there's been these disagreements and that if he wants to change that, it's like he's got to kind of come forward. I also feel like it's really interesting because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. And so like the Ace of Pentacles is a very grounded, loyal, stable beginning. And the Ace of Wands is more, I mean, it's kind of sexual here. It's very phallic. Um, some people take this card that way to be something sexual, but it's, you know, wands are fire energy. So wands are about like passion, um, romance, that spark. Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving, but with the temperance card here, I think what it's trying to tell me is that this person is trying to find that balance to give you some kind of a uh, romantic offer or some kind of gesture that, you know, is passionate, is romantic, but it's like tempered with this Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles energy where it's like grounded, you know what I mean? Where it's well thought out, it's grounded, it's not like getting lost in the moment. It's, it's, there's, you know, the Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles, like energy kind of combining here. So that's kind of what I feel this person trying to offer you. It's like they know that with the Knight of Pentacles, they know that's not going to work anymore because it's like the Knight of Pentacles is such a slow moving knight. And they know that that's, you know, that, that you're not really waiting forever for this. Um, and so, so yeah, it, it just feels like, feels like they're going to give you a passionate offer. But, but again, it's going to be kind of like balanced out with the Ace of Pentacles energy. So it's going to be like, how do I explain this energy that I'm feeling? Like, I don't feel, let me pause this actually. I'm going to think of, I'm going to channel it. I feel like this offer is going to be letting, the, letting you know that, you know, they do want to move things forward, but it's just like, it's, it might just be like a gesture. It might be like, Hey, like I want to come over or like, I want to take you out for coffee or you know, like, let's say that they like never really took you anywhere. Like if you were like always the one that like was planning things and inviting them out, I feel like some of them might take that initiative and they might be like, you know what, I'd like to like travel to this location. I'd like to travel to, you know, uh, I'd like to go on a trip to the woods with you. Or I'd like to, uh, 
I'd like to take you someplace special or I'd like to, um, there's this event I've been wanting to check out. I'd, you're the person I would like to go there with, you know, something just like a small gesture that's, it is a little bit romantic, but it's also kind of balanced and grounded where it's like, it's like they're letting you know, they're finding very subtle ways to, to let you know that you are the person that they want to spend time with. You are the person that, you know, they see a future with. They're, they're finding that stability. And I think that's a really beautiful thing because like I said in the past, I think that they didn't really take responsibility. They didn't see their role in things. They thought that you were just being dramatic or jealous. And now I think they're they're, they're more receptive to your feelings and they're also understanding your feelings more. They're, they're kind of putting, they have more empathy for you now where it's like this person is kind of, you know, thinking about, well, how would I feel what, if I were them, if I were rejected by somebody that I really loved deeply, like, how would that feel for me? Or if, um, if I felt neglected, if I didn't feel attractive around the person I love, like, how would, you know, how would I feel? Um, like, they're, they're understanding why you felt neglected. They're understanding why you felt rejected. They're understanding why you might have felt jealous or competitive, like, you know, you might have been in a position where you felt like, you know, you like it built up and you felt like you had to be, you didn't want to lose your person. So, so yeah, that's a really beautiful thing that they're understanding your perspective. They're understanding instead of it just going in one ear out the other and then just seeing it as all drama, they're, they're understanding the uh, emotion behind it. And I think they're understanding that, like, you really just want them. Like, that's really all you want. Like, you're not after, I mean, you're not after anything materialistic. Like, you're, like, you, I think they're understanding, like, the base of it. It's like, you really just want them. Like, you just want affection from them. You want attention from them. You want to feel beautiful. You want to feel loved. You want to feel supported. Like you want, you want things, you know, very, th things that are very normal to want. Like you're, you are being reasonable. It is a realistic thing to want from this person. Um, so, so yeah, they're also understanding that, that it's like, you really just, you know, want time and attention and affection from this person. You just, you know, you want to feel loved. You want to feel supported. You want them to invite you out to go do things with them. You want them to, to make an effort to show you that you're important to them, that they want you in their life. So it's, so it's really a good sign that they're seeing it from your perspective now and they're actually starting to like understand your emotions more and listen to your emotions more. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, a star... Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, some of you like got so tired of just being rejected. It's like you see this person's like offering this cup of love and this person's like so focused on like everyone and everything else that they're not even seeing. It's like you're like handing this person this cup of love and they it's like they didn't even they weren't aren't even seeing it. They're so focused on like other people, other things, just like you know you being on the last of, of their priority list and I feel like this is kind of just talking about like past emotions where it's like with the ten of wands it's like you kind of just it's like you just broke it was like the ten of wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back what we were talking about where it just all like that feeling of rejection that feeling of trying to give someone this cup of love and having them just ignore it it's like it just built up to the point where it's like you finally just kind of snapped um then we have the eight of swords in the four of pentacles. I feel like you guys are doing things a new way now too. Cause it, it seems like with the eight of swords, that's somebody that's kind of in like a victim mentality. It's like, they're kind of like a little bit trapped in that energy and four of pentacles. It's like somebody that's almost like not opening up. So I, I feel like this is kind of how you guys felt in the past where it's like, you felt like almost like trapped in a way, like eight of swords, like kind of like victim mentality in a way where it's like, you felt like like almost like hopeless at a certain point, you know what I mean? Where you're like, how do I, like, you just didn't know what to do. Like you just felt defeated at a certain point. You were so tired of like giving this cup of love again and again and again and having it be rejected that finally you just kind of snapped. Um, like it really built up. 
and this person was kind of, you know, keeping their, this is somebody like keeping their emotions to themselves, like not being receptive, not taking your feelings seriously, not listening to you, not taking your needs seriously. But I, th I think, like I said, it's like, you know, this, this card is, this is like a very introspective reading that we're getting here where it's kind of like this person is saying, like, I see these things now. I understand how you felt now. I understand your perspective now. Like they, they don't just see you as jealous anymore. They don't just see you as dramatic anymore. They like, they under, you know, they, they're, they're under something happened. I feel like they might've learned some kind of karmic lesson that kind of opened their eyes and made them like, get like at least a sense on what you felt. Um, and with the star, it's like, they're wanting to, they're, they're wanting healing for this connection. They're wanting, and they're wanting you to feel understood and feel supported. So Tell me more about this. Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man, Judgment. Yeah, there's a new person, Empress. Okay. Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, Five of Wands. This person's kind of afraid that because they're seeing you in the, as the empress now before they saw you as the queen of wands. So it's like somebody that they are attracted to somebody that's very charismatic, charming. But I feel like they have like a new perspective, like a judgment call where they're actually seeing you as the empress. They're seeing you as more powerful. They're seeing you as like all four queens combined or and this could be that could, could be male, male or female, female. Just take it as it resonates. Um, and you could be a male and empress energy. So just, you know, again, take it how take it how it resonates. But I almost feel like they're afraid that if they come forward, you're going to see them as a page of swords. Like you're going to be like, no, I'm independent. I'm single. I have a new start. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want this with you anymore. But I, I feel like those fears are, um, unfounded. Like, I, I don't feel like, I think they're seeing you as very independent and single and kind of closed off, but I don't think that you actually are closed off. I, I don't think that, that you're as closed off as they think that you are. I think you're probably just tired of waiting and you're you're not sure if this person's ever going to make a move, if they're ever going to, you know, be assertive with you. Um, so, yeah, some of these people are just because of things that they've done in the past. It's like, like I said, they are, they do have that empathy. They are in their head about it. They are thinking about, you know, the way things were before. They Now that they understand your perspective, it's like they want to come forward. Um, and they're just wondering if you'll give this another chance. Will you give this another chance? Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a strong yes. Four of Wands is twin flame, soulmates, uh, true love. Uh, this is like this is a card of like peace, stability, happiness. Like I mean, you see this person as like your true love. Like the love here is mutual. There is very deep mutual romantic love here for sure. So the answer is yes. I mean, you will give this person another chance. I feel. But I mean, only if they're coming forward now, only if they're, you know, appreciating you and and making an effort, even just a small gesture, like I said, like asking you out saying, hey, I, I miss you. I want to see you like, let's go get coffee or, you know, I was thinking about checking this club out or I was thinking about uh, checking this festival out or I was thinking about uh, checking out this new restaurant like I, I would love to go with you Um like, li like little attempts to show you that you're special to them, show you, because I feel like in the past, it's like this person probably made you feel like you weren't special to them. They might have actually, you know, deliberately made you feel like you weren't special to them so that you, they didn't, so that you wouldn't have any kind of power over them. So, so making even just little attempts to, you know, make you feel special and, and loved and attractive and wanted, you know, to let you know that you are this empress in their eyes. Um, yeah, I mean, if they, if they start making some, even just some small attempts to, uh, to, to let you know that you're important to them, then yeah, I feel like you will be completely receptive to this. Like I said in the earlier, in like earlier, I was getting like, you're going to match their energy, you know? So it's like, if they're being distant, you're going to be distant. If they're being emotionally open, if they're paying attention to you, you're going to give them that same energy back. You're going to give them whatever they're giving you. And they're, they're realizing that. And so they're wanting to come forward with this, this love offer page of cups, eight of cups, the hierophant. 
Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. What is the Eight of Cups trying to tell me? Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, King of Swords. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like in the past, I feel like there was like some karmic lessons to learn there where they were, um, two of wands is, it's like planning, it's, uh, like long-term view, but I almost feel like they were in king of swords energy where they were not emotionally open, but like they told themselves it was because they had a lot on their plate or they had to plan things. They had to perfect things. They had to do everything perfectly. Um, so basically like perfectionism as like a form of self-sabotage, you know what I mean? Like they, they told themselves that they were being distant for the right reasons, that they were doing it because they needed to, to think about things or they needed to work on themselves or this and that. And really they were just sabotaging. Really they were just finding another excuse to, to be, to stay in the King of Swords energy and be closed off. And I think they're walking away from that. Actually, they're walking away from that energy. They want something, you know, Hierophant is like, like marriage, like stability, even if it's not marriage, it's at least some kind of like long term commitment. Like they're realizing that it's like they've been patient enough, you've been patient enough, you've been you know, you guys have both been waiting for this to manifest, you've both missed each other. And they're coming in quick with the Knight of Swords, because they're having this clarity, they're having this recognition where they're like, okay, you know, like I said, they're kind of recognizing the ball is in their court. If they want this to go anywhere, they're going to need to message you. They're going to need to, you know, show you that they want to be in your life or you're not going to think that they want to be in your life if they're not showing you that they do. Yeah, because you're the queen of cups and you're the high priestess. Like you're not, they might think that you're closed off, but you're actually not closed off at all. You're very emotionally open to this person. You do still have love for this person for sure. You're just being the high priestess. The high priestess is very intuitive. She's all knowing, but she doesn't really speak much. She just kind of observes. She kind of waits to see what other people around her do. The world, the sun. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, let's see, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. Yeah, I think that you were also the Queen of Swords for so long because it's like, like you know, kind of the same thing, kind of just reiterating what we were talking about. It's like you got in that Queen of Swords energy because you were so tired of waiting for your ships to sail in. Like it made you feel lonely. It made you feel, you know, heartbroken. It made you feel bitter. Just it's like missing this person and just constantly like waiting, like constantly like, are they ever going to tell me they love me? Are they ever going to um, make like show me that I'm important to them? Are they ever going to, you know, make an effort? Are they ever going to like, are they going to plan things with me? Are they like, you know what I mean? Like it made you kind of bitter over time. Just it's like this person's like alone on this rock, just kind of waiting for their ships to, to sail in. But it's it's almost like over time, it's like that that loneliness and just waiting and waiting and waiting, it's kind of like made you bitter. But, um, but yeah, the beautiful thing is that they recognize that they recognize the buildup, they recognize that whatever energy they come forward with, if they're the king of swords, you're going to be the queen of swords. If you're if they're the king of cups, you're going to be the queen of cups, you're going to match their energy. And, and yeah, like I said, it's a beautiful thing that they recognize that because you guys are ending these karmic cycles, you guys are ending whatever's been keeping you apart, um, you know, stagnation, pride, fear, whatever it might have been, that cycle is ending with the sun. That's a very strong, like, it's a really positive card. It's like happiness, warmth, light, you know, you see them as the love of your life. They see you as the love of their life. You see them as, as your light. You see them as like this, this beautiful force in your life and they see you the same way. You know, the love here is mutual. So, so yeah, they're, they're working on coming forward with a love offer They're They're, uh, they might test the waters first, but it does look like they are, um, you know, taking accountability and learning how to be assertive and, and coming forward with some kind of offer. So it's a really good energy. Anyway, like I said, if this is your reading and you'd like to book a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Thanks for watching. And thanks for your comments again, too. Any little, even just a heart comment really helps me. Thanks.